With this calisthenics workout, you're going to get the absolute best of all worlds. You'll be training calisthenics skills and unlocking your body's full movement potential. Of course, we don't just want to be strong, we also want to look strong. This workout will have you packing on muscle in all the right areas. Whether you're a complete beginner or more advanced, this workout works if you do the work. Quick question for you. Do you train mainly for strength, skills, or size? Drop me a comment as we run the intro. My goal with this video is to teach principles and methods. This way, you're going to be progressing with your calisthenics strength skills. Apply the concepts shown in your training and mastering things like front levers and planches is going to be a reality. I'm going to teach you how to pick the perfect setup based on your experience and strength level. I want to teach you the most important term in calisthenics, levers. Holding a tuck front lever is the best place to start. This is particularly true for beginners as well as those that are new to straight arm strength. This is because the weight of the lower body stays close to the base of support, which is the hands. Progress the tucked hold by flattening out the lower back into an advanced tuck. Moving forward, I'd recommend straddling the legs with bent knees. Once again, make the hold harder by flattening out the lower back, which is going to lengthen the body lever. The final progression for today's calisthenics strength skills follows a similar concept. Progressively straightening the legs and extending at the hips is the best way to go. This small adjustment to body shape is a smarter way to progress compared to what most people do, which is just trying the full front lever way too soon. Only use these final advanced front lever progressions if you're able to keep the arms straight and the hips level with the shoulders. Being able to hold the final front lever progressions doesn't happen by accident. My advice is simple, pick a front lever progression which is difficult for the sets and hold time in the workout. When used correctly, bands are a perfect option for increasing strength with calisthenics skills. To optimally set up bands for calisthenics, it's best to anchor the band around the middle of the body which is close towards the center of mass. This method of band assistance is perfect because it's the most even way to assist your body. It feels the most natural and it makes for a more comfortable, consistent training session. The exact same concept applies from earlier. Choose a band thickness which challenges you for the set and rep range in the workout. If the band helps out too much and the hold times aren't challenging, you're not going to change. The reason why bands are so good is because the exact hold time can be held on the progression that you want to train. Some trial and error is needed when choosing the right progression and band thickness. But once you get the setup right, it's just a matter of progressing to an easier band, increasing sets, hold times, or using a harder progression. Band assisted training is perfect because it applies an important strength training principle, which is joint angle specificity. Without using a band, this type of exercise would simply be too hard for most of you watching. Bands are great because they make the impossible possible. For this full body workout, the choice is up to you between unassisted or band assisted front levers and planches. Pick the setup which you enjoy and feel challenged by. Go hard for three to five sets of eight to 15 second holds, resting 90 seconds between sets. Now that we've completed our static strength skills, let's move on to upper body strength. In this part of the workout, we're going to superset a vertical pull and a vertical push. For my beginners, we're going to rep out the bodyweight chin up. Use a full range of motion every single time. If you can't manage this, use a band to hit the 5x5 five five rep range. Once you're able to manage 5x5 five five bodyweight chins, it's time to move on. The weighted chin up is perfect for intermediates, even those that are more advanced, because the 5x5 five five rep range can be trained for a long period of time. A classic set and rep range for building strength is 5 sets of 5. 
This is a perfect blend of low reps to stress our central nervous system, yet enough total volume to gain other benefits. It's important to use the exact same form from workout to workout. This way you're going to get real gains in strength, not like most people, how they progress by using momentum, cutting range of motion, and cheating the process in order to progressively overload. I recommend my intermediates to advanced using the assisted one arm chin up. Work towards assisting with only one finger as your working arm is going to be forced to level up. At Fitness FAQs, we really enjoy unilateral training. This is because it reduces any side to side asymmetry in size or strength. After finishing the set, go straight to the vertical push. Pike push-ups are progression number one for beginners to intermediates. With strict form, this exercise is actually surprisingly hard. You're going to see what I mean when you try it. Full range of motion is getting the head forward of the hands and then maximally opening the shoulders. This is a must to build full range of motion strength, control and mobility. If 5x5 is too easy for you with pike push-ups, play around with slow negatives and adding pauses at both the bottom and the top. The handstand push-up is going to build a ton of overhead pressing strength. It also builds plenty of size in the shoulders, triceps and chest using only your body weight. What most people don't know is that handstand push-ups are also a really good core exercise because you're forced to prevent any arching during motion. The cool thing is when done correctly with the head touching the ground and open shoulders at the top, you're going to be simultaneously improving overhead mobility. We are doing a full body workout, so let's go ahead and train some legs. Step ups are a perfect calisthenics exercise for building size and strength. Your mission is to stop yourself cheating when using only your body weight. Do this by focusing all of your efforts on pushing through the elevated foot. Now as you increase the height of the box, of course the exercise is going to get much much harder. I recommend this and I always encourage you to choose a setup, an exercise, a technique which is challenging for the workout dosage. This is very important when we're using a calisthenics only approach. Without resting, move straight to the Nordic Curl Eccentric. These will absolutely fry your hamstrings and are perfect for lengthening, strengthening and packing on leg girth. Go down as slowly as you can, aiming to lower to the floor with your own muscular effort. Of course, those of you watching probably don't have two strong Germans calisthenic movement on standby to help you with this exercise. So for a full tutorial on how to do this yourself, search Nordic Curl Eccentric on Fitness FAQ's YouTube. This lower body superset wouldn't be complete without everyone's favorite muscle group, the calves. 8 to 15 reps is a standard muscle building rep range. Pick either the single leg or double leg variation, depending on your level. It's time to pack on some muscle in the back with horizontal rowing. We're going to use a calisthenic specific rowing technique to master our scapula. At the bottom of the row, allow your upper back to relax. As you pull, pinch the shoulder blades together and then draw the arms to your sides. This technique uses a full range of motion, builds full range of motion strength and also maximizes muscle gain in the upper body. Train hard with the bodyweight row and your posture and physique are definitely going to improve. Are you ready to make calisthenics rows harder? Try doing front lever rows. This exercise is going to show you how strong your back really is. There's no hiding. If you can't do these, you've got some work to do, you've got some homework, and you've got some rows to do. For front lever rows, the aim is to smash the bar into the body. To do this, you want to pull as hard as you can every single rep. This mindset of aggression is definitely very important for this particular exercise. If you're not going hard, if you're not being aggressive, the range of motion just won't be there. Let's continue to the horizontal press. Here's three pushing progressions to suit all strength levels. 
The standard push-up is an exercise which absolutely must be mastered first. If you're struggling to do 15 reps with clean form for multiple sets, stay here. Intermediates should work on the archer push-up. Speed and form should be made challenging for the workout numbers listed. At the end of the day, you get out what you put in. Train hard and train honest. An exercise which can challenge absolutely all levels for horizontal pressing is the pseudo planche push-up. As you grow stronger, move further from the wall and do pseudo planche push-ups using a more aggressive forward lean. You're not going to outgrow this exercise anytime soon. As you improve, make the exercise harder by leaning further forward. This is just the way it is, the journey never gets easier and you should stay challenged. This is why pseudo planche push-ups are a perfect horizontal press. Okay, it's time to get to business. I know this is what you've all been secretly waiting for, building bigger arms with calisthenics. Bodyweight bicep curls are best done for higher reps using a pause at the top. On the surface, this exercise looks pretty similar to rows, but it needs to be approached with a different technique. I want you to think of curling your body weight as well as intentionally using your biceps. It's important to keep a tight course that all of the work and focus is happening at the biceps. These are a well-earned finisher after you've done your vertical chins and horizontal rows. Without resting, I want you to go straight to the bodyweight tricep extensions. A full stretch and squeeze coupled with moderate to high reps is perfect. This exercise will have your triceps burning, stimulated and forced to grow bigger by bodyweight. All that's left to make this a perfect full body workout is calisthenics core. Hollow body holds are going to train the anterior core. For hollow body holds, lift the feet off the ground and maintain a mini crunch position with the arms in a Y. Full body tension and deep breathing is what I recommend to maximize technique, maximize form and maximize your results. When holding hollow body holds, I want you to ask yourself, is your body shaking when you're breathing? Perfect. If it is, this means that you're keeping the body tight and doing things right. This calisthenics reverse hyper variation is perfect for improving your strength skills. To use strict form, you want to get the legs straight every single rep by squeezing the backside of the body. You're going to feel this in the lower back, glutes and hamstrings when you do it properly. Avoid the common mistake of using momentum and just swinging mindlessly through the exercise. Eventually, when things get too easy, make it harder. You've got to keep making things harder. You should understand by this point about levers and calisthenics. When you load the reverse hyper, we're loading the distal point of the body. And because we're in an extended lever shape, it's very, very challenging and awesome for posterior core. Here's a summary of the perfect full body calisthenics workout. If you enjoyed the video, learned something new, or if you got motivated to train calisthenics, leave a thumbs up. Your interaction and feedback, whether it's a comment or a thumbs up, really does help to support and grow fitness FAQs. That way we can get our message out there about real calisthenics training. This video features my friends and calisthenics colleagues over in Germany, calisthenic movement. Do you want to transform your body in four weeks, building size, building strength, getting stronger with calisthenics? Visit the calisthenics movement channel to get in the best shape of your life using our collaboration video. Go check it out.